We have breaking news tonight and new developments in the search for a man accused of critically injuring a Henry County detention officer. Police say he also shot and killed a second man. A blue alert continues for Brinson Thomas. He's wanted for murder and aggravated assault of an officer. And take a look. The sheriff says DeMarie Coulter is helping Thomas at this hour, making her a wanted fugitive tonight. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn is live in Henry County. And Cody, did the sheriff mention anything about how that officer is doing? Yeah, Jennifer, Officer Williams remains in critical condition. He was shot several times on Friday. So here we are 72 hours into this manhunt and so far Brinston Thomas has been able to avoid several local and state agencies tonight. We're getting a better idea of how he's been able to do it. Speaking of mistakes, the Henry County Sheriff released this recent video of their most wanted suspect, Brinston Thomas. If the sheriff has it his way, Thomas will be locked up sooner rather than later. Monday night, the sheriff added a second person to his most wanted list, Thomas's friend, Damari Coulter, and making it clear if anyone else thinks they want to help this duo. You're going to jail. Period. Joining a couple more of Thomas's friends, this is LaShawn Lay and Joseph Kimber. They were caught on camera in downtown Atlanta over the weekend helping Thomas get away. But their luck ran out and are now locked up. We're looking for the person they're dealing with the crime. The sheriff referring to Henry County Police. The agency now investigating the double shooting at the Haddon Place Apartments on Willow Lane in McDonough. On Friday afternoon, one of the sheriff's detention center officers was shot multiple times and a second man was shot and killed. The sheriff still not releasing details about the circumstances surrounding the shooting. It is a very intense um, investigation at this time frame. We have very good leads, we believe, and we're working on them, working those as we speak, and I do not want to compromise those. Tonight, there is a $20,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of those two suspects we just showed you.